Hey everyone, I'm Ola and today we are going to play Minecraft Recipes and Stories. In this video I'm going to show you how to spend your diamonds in a good way. So let's go! So in this video, together with Anna Smith Infographics, I'm going to show you the best ways of spending your diamonds. This is why you are saving them and these are the best cases where the diamonds can be spent. When you're at initial levels, the first thing that you have to spend your diamonds on is your spice box. And in total you're going to pay 1,271 diamonds. If your VIP level is more, then you are going to have a discount on slots. And I'm going to provide you infographics about VIP level in the description. But actually Actually, the spice box is your essential storage where you store all of your spices because you use them everywhere. You use them for special orders, you use them for converting them into diamonds in your township treasury, etc. So you need to have space where to store them. Another newbie tip is to purchase gifts from Fernando at initial levels because he sells you four gifts. In total, they're going to cost 172 diamonds, but you're going to get more than you invest. And this is going to be a really good start for you at initial levels because you will have resources to develop your compact. I have a separate newbie guide on my channel, I will also add a link in the description and you will find more tips for newbies. But let's go further and I'm going to show you some more tips on how to spend your gems. It is not really obvious, but it's better to refresh your phone orders for 10 and even 20 diamonds because you're going to get spices for that and we know that spices are really valuable in my cafe, so your investments will really be compensated. I also have a separate video about this on my channel, the link is also going to be in the description. Let's go to Anne and I want to tell you more about her skills. So she has that skill of all items prices and it raises prices on all your menu items which means that you are going to get more coins and you can raise your skill for free. You can do it every time she reaches a new level. In total you can spend 990 gems maximum but you are going to have a lot of coins. This will keep you going. So if you haven't done it yet maybe it's high time to start investing your diamonds in raising her skill. If you also want to boost the price to a higher extent you can use the coffee grinder or the tea container and the coffee grinder is really nice it raises your prices by 50 100 500 and 1000 percent for a week and usually it costs like that but if you click on extend automatically you get a 10 percent discount and then you can purchase it and straight after you do it you can remove this tick the amount of diamonds that you want to spend really depends on your needs and how many coins you need just straight away in some situations you can wait in some situations you need to to purchase equipment and you need to get more coins for any purchase. This also includes the special orders by the way, but maybe spending 5000 gems for that can be a little bit too much, so use your brain for that. And also as for the tea container, it has a lot fewer recipes than the coffee drinks, so it can be purchased additionally, but still you need to calculate here how many coins you need and whether it's worth spending your diamonds on that or not. Let's go to the township and we know that we have different festival tasks, some of them are paid, some of them are free. Free, so you can get from 5 to 10 free tasks depending on your township structure and the higher your township structure is the more free tasks you get. Probably it's worth expanding your jewelry box to store more rubies because the higher you get the more rubies you need to upgrade your township structure. Anyway you still get to that moment in the festival where you think whether it's worth spending gems on additional tasks or not. So depending on your township strategy if you want to stay in the regatta it is really worth spending your diamonds on the first six pay tasks uh, and also it covers response to the prizes in the leagues but if your strategy is not to get to the top ratings and to beat the festivals maybe spending gems for more than six pay tasks is not worth it so let's come back to the cafe now and i also have to say something about two and three cup machines because first they bring you more tips as well second they bring you rubies when you serve customers manually and third they also allow you to serve customers faster which is also very convenient you can purchase those stylish machines in the bank the stylish two cup blender but it still costs a lot, like 6,870 gems. I don't have this sum, so I have to save the gems for it. But sometimes it is also worth checking our special offers, because sometimes there are special offers which can be purchased for diamonds, and this is usually a very good deal with 70% bonus or so. Please follow our social media, because we usually give announcements of such discounts and sales. As for the temporary guests, you know we have Nicole now, and when we finish her order, we can also refresh it for 10 and 20 diamonds. This is 
exactly the same as with our phone orders and you also get more coins and spaces and in all the process goes faster. As for the unique items that are available during special events, like we had the nutcracker in the previous event, it was given to us by the story for free and we also had an option to purchase a ballerina in the store for 499 gems. For combining them all together our customers gave us a gold gift. So this is what I want to tell you guys. Only purchase those unique items when you really love the combination of two items all together and when you need the gold gift for your festival tasks or when you need spices and maybe some uh, maybe some coins and extra gems. But don't wait that the amount of gems spent on the purchase of those special items will be compensated by the gifts because the range of gems that can fall out from the gift is really wide and the same regards the appearance of stuff. You can purchase the outfit to get the blue gift in return. So also do it if you really love how your stuff looks like in it. For example, I enjoyed how Anne looks like right now and we also have that husky t-shirt which I am likely to purchase actually. And it also doesn't cost really much, 275 gems. I'm going to get a blue gift for that, but also don't wait that the sum that you have spent will be compensated because here 500 gems is the upper limit. You will need that gift for a festival task or for some other resources. Actually guys, this is it and these are the best ways of spending your gems. Well and thank you so much for playing with me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did then please put a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and let's play together. Don't forget to click the bell to get all the news about the game from my videos. I have also rewarded 5 best comments under my previous video and the list of the winners is right here. Guys, thank you very much for your feedback and comments. If you also want a pin gift, please leave your comment below this video on YouTube and tell us how you are spending your diamonds. Maybe add some tips and tricks. Let it be our useful guide. I will choose 5 best comments by next Friday, so don't forget to leave your player ID. This is a combination of numbers in the bottom right corner of your game settings. Till then, have fun in the game and see you next time. Bye bye!